But today's guided drawing is inspired by all the rain we've been having lately. Do you guys like the rain? I kind of like the smell and the sound of the rain and it reminds me of where I grew up over on the west side of the state where it rains like a lot. So we're going to be designing an umbrella and we're going to use um, all the different kinds of lines and patterns that we learned this year. You can also just do colors if you want to. It's up to you or you might even do more of a Zentangle design that we practice too if you're in fourth or fifth grade. So um, this is just one example, but make it your own and how you want to design it. Okay, let's remember our line. So we have straight line, we have zigzag, we have wavy lines or curvy, and then we have curly or loopy lines that reminds me of a roller coaster, and dashed and dot. Okay, so go ahead and get your materials. You're just going to need um, a piece of paper and then either crayons, markers, whatever you want to write with or draw in color. Um, at the end, I think for the background, I'm gonna use the paint sticks. And I know a lot of you guys asked where I got those because they're pretty fun um, and easy to work with at home. So these are called quick sticks and you can get them on Amazon. Um, I get them a lot from the local craft store, Michael's. You can just order and curbside pickup. Um, if you want to directly from the company, it's www.thepencilgrip.com. Okay, but when you look it up, it's quick stick with a K, K-W-I-K, quick sticks. Okay, so make sure you have everything ready to go and I'll meet you back here ready to draw. Okay, to start your umbrella, we're gonna work um, in the top half of the paper first and leaving a little bit of room on each side so that we can add a background later at the end too. So I'm just gonna start and do a big curve. For the top shape of the umbrella. Um, and then for the bottom, some people like to do like the scalloped um, bottom. I'm gonna actually do the opposite because I like it to be pointy at the end. Um, so you choose which way you wanna do it, but I'm just gonna do another curve, smaller. It's basically like the big one we did, but just smaller. We're gonna continue that across. And connect there. Okay, and then we're going to divide up the umbrella top into sections so that we can practice uh, those patterns. So I like to kind of make a little dot and where the center point is or close to it. Um, and then I'm going to draw my lines from um, the tips here and connect that down okay, so that I can break this up into um, different parts. Okay, um, after you have your sections, then the next thing is going to be the handle on the umbrella. So we're going to make a J. And you can make it thick or thin, it's up to you. You could even put um, a pattern on your handle if you wanted to have stripes or any other designs you want on it as well. Okay, but I'll go back and finish the handle later. Um, then the next part is gonna be those designs and colors that you want for each section. So. Um, I'm going to do kind of a rainbow one here. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five sections. Okay. So not quite all the colors of the rainbow, but we'll be close. And I'm going to do, uh, wavy lines first. And again, you can maybe change yours up going um, vertically up and down. You can make your patterns go um, diagonally. It's up to you. But just try to use a variety of those lines that we worked on. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is a polka dot. a little bigger actually. And 
just some straight lines on this section. And then some loopy or curly line. I'm just gonna do one big one, I think. And the last one, I'll do a zigzag. Next, I'm gonna go in and add color just in between my designs. I'm going to use the same color that I did the marker, but I'm going to just lightly fill it in with crayon. Again, you don't have to. Maybe you want to fill the whole thing just with patterns. Maybe you just want to fill it with color. Uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of both, so up to you. favorite part the raindrops I'm gonna use um, the paint sticks you can use your markers or crayons maybe if you have paint you could even just finger paint um, the dots on or if you have a sponge or anything that you can use whatever you want for the raindrops and you can make them as some bigger some smaller you can even add clouds up at the top if you want. It's your art. We're just having fun decorating the rest of it. And you can add as many or as few little raindrops. I kind of want mine to look like confetti. Until you like where it's at. I like to do some kind of like circles and then some kind of like little lines just to give it a little bit different look. And of course I'm doing colorful rain with my colorful rainbow. scatter them wherever you want. So keep decorating until you feel like it's done and how you want it to look. 